Good morning. I am Weston with Tessa Landscaping. How are you doing? We are here in Hollidaysburg in the backyard of a new project and we have this existing retaining wall that's getting, it, it ends right there. We're, we're tearing everything from this point on out until all the way over there past uh, my coffee cup a little bit. We're gonna be making this backyard look a little different. Folks just recently moved into this home and cleared off a bunch of uh, trees in the backyard here to expand the backyard out a little bit. And then what we're doing right here is uh, right about there, we're uh, starting our 16 foot Appalachian Run Pondless Waterfall. We call it the Mountain Stream. Basin's going right in front of where the wall currently is. And then we're building up a mound. It's gonna be twisting up through that mound up there in, as a with the woods as a backdrop. So it's gonna be a pretty nice project. We've got some nice grade to work with. Gives us a freedom to do some pretty cool stuff with the water feature. And uh, yeah, any day we get to build a new water feature is a great day. So I love building these Premier Collection water features. They have all the bells and the whistles and come with the lights, the weathered mossy limestone rock and uh, just fun. So let's get that time lapse set up. This is Ben. He is tearing down retaining wall. Oh my goodness, look at with that. Look at the care with, oh, oh careful, oh, oh my goodness, you almost messed it up. Be careful, proper stance, yep. Mm -hmm. straight, pick up there, oh, legs. oh my goodness, how many pounds do you think that is? Oh, that's at least four. Whew. Here. Careful, careful. Right here. Ooh, careful, my legs. there you go. Oh my goodness, He's, he did it! Woohoo, the crowd goes wild! Oh my goodness, how do you feel about yourself? Accomplished. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Wow. So amazing. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, so today we are gonna look at these steps to building upon this waterfall. Let's go. So obviously the first step is uh, choosing where you wanna put it. And in this case, we're gonna be putting it right here on the off the back patio of this home. They're gonna be adding a porch on here. So this back area is gonna become very central to their outdoor living space. And we're gonna be placing this uh, upon this waterfall right in the center of their new backyard. So basically the first step is to place your aqua blocks or to locate where you're going to put your basin and these aqua blocks are going to be sunk underground and they're going to be your underground water basin to contain our water and we place them here right where we want them. We're going to take a can of paint, paint around them, take the aqua blocks away and excavate this and uh, that is step one. Figure out where you want it, paint it out, dig it. Struggle, struggle. I sense struggling. This is kind of fun to film and just watch. <laughs> Okay, we have finally dug a hole big enough for this basin. I think it's the hardest I ever worked to dig a basin. How about it then? Yeah. Is that what you're thinking? That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, we have the hole dug. We have a little smaller deep spot right there for the vault. Right there in the flower bed is the vault. So we are now ready to throw our aqua blocks in our pondless vault into this hole and wrap up the sides nice and neat. And that will wrap up our basin. Let's get going. And now we have the spacing in, all backfilled, good to go. So it is now time to build a waterfall. And there we go. Bottom waterfall is pretty well in place. Let's go over there and I'll give you a little bit of a tour. So we got some, a lot of gnarly stuff going on here. Basically back there where that frame rock is, where this frame rock is, it's gonna be a waterfall right there falling down, right behind 
this rock and it's gonna that rock's gonna kick it over to the side it's gonna be a nice deep pull swirling around down in there and it's gonna come out over the front right here so a lot of back and forth side to side action which i love to do looks awesome pretty gnarly how about it ben side to side action yeah anyway tomorrow we got to flip the streamliner forward and uh, do a whole bunch of excavation like excavate our next uh, stream beds in and rock and roll with the rest of the stream we will see you in the morning Good, beautiful Monday morning to you. Here kicking off this project where we left off last week and uh, got the makings of the first waterfall in place down here. And I'm gonna try to articulate what's going through our head here when we're uh, building this thing. But usually this turns into a long rambling session where I don't know if I even said anything, so excuse the rambling. But here's what I, uh, I'm going for with this water feature or with this water particular waterfall here. I really like when water kind of like falls and turns and twists and turns it gives, it lends to a natural look. What I don't like is like this staircase effect where it drops, runs, drops, runs, just like straight, like no character to it at all. So whenever we're setting rocks, I'm always looking for the opportunity to do like a, a, you know, a kick the water sideways and whatnot. So what we got going on here is pretty dramatic actually. So we're just getting ready to um, set a spillway rock right back here between these two. These, this is our frame rock, that's our frame rock. And um, I'm gonna set a spillway rock behind the two so that it falls down right into this area right here. And then you see how this rock is kind of like directly in the way of that waterfall. So it's going to be falling off of that weir rock, hitting this, kicking over to the side, filling into this deep hole down in here. And then this rock is obstructing the water yet again. It's going to be kicking it out this way. So we got a fall, kicking over, and then kicking back over this way. So a lot of character. And what we do to get that to happen is basically just set rocks directly in the way of the path of the water. So for instance, this water is naturally flowing this way. This rock is directly in the way of the path of that water, which kicks it to the side and gives us that look. So a basic waterfall is like three boulders. Like we got a, uh, a frame rock, then we're gonna place a spillway rock, and then another frame rock. And that's your, your basic waterfall. But what I've been kind of doing more of lately is having three and four and even five boulder uh, waterfalls like so it's a series of four or five boulders in this case it, that's exactly what it's going to be so we got kind of our, our, our pillar a key pillar framing boulders are this one and this one but this this boulder is not framing the weir rock this one is so you know there's one two three and then we're going to be placing another this one's down here so that's four and then the spillway rock would make a total of five. So you can get some pretty cool action when you stagger four or five boulders uh, to build a water feature, a waterfall instead of just like three. And uh, just gets, you know, one of the things that uh, Ben and I have been talking about when we're building these things is like, the basic concept of a waterfall is like you, you pick out your two frame rocks. Those are the key boulders. But what Ben and I have been kind of paying more and more attention to this summer is like pay attention to the boulder that's directly in front of the waterfall and directly behind the waterfall just as much because that lends just as much to that look as the two key framing boulders do. So I'll try to articulate that once we have the next couple rocks in. I'll show you actually an example of what I mean when I say that. You know, the boulder that's directly behind the, the waterfall and the boulder that's directly in front of the waterfall. But anyway, that's your Monday morning ramble. We will see you later. is because we don't just have a straight wall sheet here. We got some, a coal light looks like it eroded back in here. Just amazing! Woo! Got that out of my system.
Okay, I confess. Got a little carried away and did not get you an update all morning long. And it's pretty well done. <laughs> Let me shut the machine off here. But we uh, got all of our uh, edge work done, foaming is done, did some mossing, and ready to go knock on the door, bring the client out here and plug it in for the first time. You ready to see it run? Sure. Right. Awesome. I figured we'd bring you out here before we plug it in. You've been watching from inside? I pick it every now and then. Yeah. As soon as uh, we give you the word, you can just plug this cord okay. right into this outlet. Okay. Go for it. There we go. Wow. That's a beautiful drop. That pool is filling up. Hopefully we have enough of water in this basin. <laughs> it looks like we're still good. It barely is underneath the surface of the aqua blocks. What is it? Everything you thought it would be? It's more. I love how this, these two rocks are causing the water to whirlpool around. Like when you have a protruding rock, you know, out here, and then just set back from it, you have another protruding rock, you get that really cool effect. I really like how this overhanging rock just has threads of water dripping down over it. it looks cavernous. Pretty gnarly. I'm definitely a big fan of overhanging stuff. Like that stump over there, half of it's hanging out over, creating kind of a eroded out look back in there. All right, good evening. Well, <laughs> I say evening, it is already. Oh, I guess it's not that bad. 10 after five. Guys headed back to the shop, they're unloading the truck. I was just sticking around cleaning up the street. So uh, let's turn the camera around and get you a first look at this new water feature. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, watching these kinds of projects go together, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, and uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next. Ciao.